Okay, Mother, what you doing? Okay, I'm making pie crust. A cup and a half or three pie crusts. And for three cups of flour for three pie crusts. Now I'm going to blend it a little bit with the blender. Now you use Crisco? Yes, it was Crisco. And that was a cup and a half and three cups and of three flour. And three cups of flour. All right. For three single pie crusts. Right. Have to get the hands in here a little bit. Well, maybe you needed a knife or something. <clears throat> now you do the flour and the Crisco before you add the salt, or do you well, add the salt I, at I'm the same time, to, or uh, add salt in just a little minute when when it's kind of almost. Ready. Okay, what's the important part about doing this? The important part? Mm-hmm. What kind of what are you looking for as far as texture? Crumbly. Mm-hmm. And uh, get it all mixed up together. So it will be kind of yucky. Okay, now I'm going to add the salt because it's kind of, and that was approximately two teaspoons of salt. Okay. <clears throat> I normally do not measure my salt. Oh, you don't? No. Just put some in my hand and sprinkle it in. <coughs> now, have you ever used butter instead of Crisco? No, have never. No, so I have no idea what it would be. long until I can add the um, water. Mm -hmm. This is getting to a point where it's this all is a mixed up. Consistency that you like. Mm -hmm. I have to get it off of the fingers. And I will add one tablespoon at a time. Okay, of iced cold water. Right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll see what it's like. I'm going to get my hands in. And they are washed. So it looks like you're almost kind of kneading that. Well, yeah, just kind of getting it together. Do you have to have a light hand or is it okay to 
Can you press it a little bit or? Yeah, well, you kind of press it together so it will come out in a sort of like a ball. Mm -hmm. together quite well now. Mm -hmm. I think it's just about ready. So we'll take it like this, try to put it in three Equal balls. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, will you demonstrate your rolling techniques? Rolling, it, it doesn't matter about rolling. Really. It doesn't. No, you just put <coughs> flour, you know, on the um, board and... Um, is this the famous Nana eye crust? Uh, yes, yeah. it is. Well, we, we look at how she rolls it. Watch it how Nana's she Nana's oh, eye it, crust it is just really like Aunt matter. Catherine's. It doesn't matter how you roll it. <laughs> we'll see. Well, There's always a trick. trick to get it into the pie plate. Yeah, right. Do you have to chill those first or can you do it right now? No, I can do it right now. Want to show us? Continue the demonstration. We have to get some more flour. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the flour. Yes, your assistant moved it for you. Thank you. Me. Now you're making a nine inch pie crust? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do this. Do that. Okay, now we start rolling it. I hear there was a time when you were out of practice that your pie crusts weren't quite as good as they are again now. I don't know, Dan. Probably when I got back from overseas. Yeah, you didn't have to make any pies there. No, I didn't. a refresher course from Aunt Catherine. Yeah. <laughs> Pass from generation to generation. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh well, we know that happens. Have to do a little patchwork. But you can never tell after it's done, huh? Nope. That's right. Oh, that's too bad. That's that's not good. So I'll just do it again. All right. Sometimes that works. Sometimes that happens. Right. Especially when you're doing a demo. Yep. Well, it happens anyway. <coughs> Oh, you kids are missing something.
Get a little extra flour, huh? Just a little extra flour, yeah. We'll see what happens this time. A little better. But we'll just have to patch. Patch, patch, patch. Never know the difference. Absolutely not. <coughs>